What I need you to do is get funky. No matter what, you're always looking out for me. I think you should show up for the rest of your life. A Million Little Things returns next on ABC and Street on Hulu. So how's that for a mid-season return? Even the, even if it means it's two days late because of the shitty-ass news report that wrongfully interrupted it on actual, like, you know, local TV. I mean, wow. David Warren, DJ Nash, um, the Kearns mother-daughter duo, Joanne. Joanna? Yeah, Joanna. Joanna and Ashley. Nikita, Natalie, Mercedes, Simcon, um, Nikita Hamilton. Nikita as in Nikita Hamilton. My man, David Warren, all the people who are a part of making this episode really knocked it out of the park. I mean, it was like, wow, I've never seen anything like that. And thank goodness, no cliffhangers for one. So that Meredith girl is the most important. Well, that not a girl. She's an older lady. So that Meredith lady was listening. And I hope that in the future, she can forgive Maggie for, you know, the fact that she failed her son. And when, you know, Gary took her to her house, I was waiting. I was waiting for Maggie to get out of that car to walk up and apologize to her and just talk things out. But shockingly, that didn't happen. But as for like Camden hurting his ankle, I thought he actually did hurt his ankle. But nope, he kind of like, you know, made that up like Jamie McMurray just to see Maggie. You know, that's true love if I've ever seen it. Kind of reminds me of, you know, the week, was it the week, the day after my birthday? Day after my birthday, I gave up the library to stay back at the workshop with my girlfriend, Margaret Firestone. And then the week after that, like after the Daytona 500, she gave up Sweetie's Candy just to be with me, and you see how that turned out. We were living it up like Haley Orantia, even though that's that's a Goldberg's reference in a, a Million Little Things video. And I love Camden's comment, don't tell ESPN. Yeah, that's exactly why we call them the Estupido Pendejo Network. Or when I was a teenager, we called them the Extremely Shitty programming network because fuck ESPN and everything they stand for. <laughs> that shit was funny. I will admit that. And Eddie in Rome were in a mess, but in a good way. You know, he got, he got Rome out. He, Eddie, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I'm got it right. I want to make sure I'm not saying it wrong. Eddie got Rome out of bed. You know, managed to get him out of bed. She, um, he, he, what am I, what, what the fuck am I trying to say? He told Regina about his, you know, his depression being back, and rightfully so, you know, considering that, you know, um, you know, they went, they went to like an indoor beach yeah, at the pool that Russ work, worked at, you know, they went swimming together, they didn't even need swimming trunks to do it, and it's like, amazing, you know, Blue Skidoo Weekend 2, and then it went from Blue Skidoo Weekend 2 jumping into the pool, to going under the water in the pool, and going, she bangs, she bangs, I need a la, she moves, she moves, me lo que se cuando baila camina no puedo parar. Esa mujer me va a matar by Ricky Mardin, written by Robbie Draco Rosa and Desmond Child from the 2000 album Sound Loaded. <laughs> I had to sneak in a Ricky Martin reference because I cannot go one million little things post, let alone a million little things video without a single Ricky Martin reference. Live in la vida loca. And speaking of Ricky Martin, live in la vida loca, Latino anything, it was good to see Andrea Nevado as um Valerie back. And we got to see Valley, her daughter. So the actress who plays her daughter, really nice to meet you. I followed you for that reason. But the new actresses, you know, besides Valley's actress what about um the tattoo the tattoo specialist that was Catherine's best friend oh man wow first off to the actress who plays her really nice to meet you as well I, I was I was going crazy over here right see that chair right there I was sitting in the chair going crazy when you and Grace Park in character were getting it on like Terry Labonte stewing the strip down oh mama <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, who needs it? On I mean, as shitty as that news report was, and how wrongfully and how wrongful and rude that interruption was, we didn't need it on regular TV. You know, over in my office where I watch it on regular ABC with no commercials and no shitty interruptions in general. This was perfect. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I mean. And Theo, on the other hand, my, my, he's getting big. I mean, he really is getting big. You know, he's gotten much older, but so far, no voice change yet. And it was good to see Carter, uh, Carter French back. You know, my main man, Sam Pancake. I have a lot of main men. We have Brian Markinson, Sam Pancake. Um, Rob Riggle, David Arnold, Anthony Anderson. We have a lot of main men everywhere at the TV. The cryo stick went to screensaver. So let's put the NASCAR stuff in here just for all of everybody at AMLT to see. I mean, it was probably the be most beautiful mid-season premiere I've ever seen in any TV show I've ever watched. So uh, what was the installment today? So let me check. What was this week's installment? Let me check it out like Kevin LePage. <laughs> Wow, it's been since over the holidays, you know, since, you know, the Dale Jr. installment of AMLT, which was where we left off. This week was the Bill Elliott installment for the mid-season return and the resu resumption of, of season four of AMLT. So I will see you all next week, you know, this coming Wednesday for the Johnny Benson installment. And please, I do not want a single interruption, general interruption alone. I know the shitty news report again for the, as far as, as for the, for as, for as long as we go to finish out this television season in 2021, 2022. I was, for until then, I will see you all tomorrow for the return to the, of the, re, well, the re, return of the Spurs was tonight. So they beat the Washington Wizards in, in exciting fashion and in a double overtime thriller. I don't remember the record and how how you know how the extra record of when I don't watch a single minute of the game. But you're gonna see that update on TikTok a little later on tonight. So therefore, tomorrow we have the haircut video, the Spurs game reviews come back, and then uh, that will be combined with my Auto Club 300 NASCAR Bus Series review. Because keep in mind, tomorrow it's going to be the long haul. I hope. Lunch with my dad, a haircut with Cousin Kenny, the NASCAR Bush Series, uh, um, Auto Club 300, and the Spurs Heat game. And during that Spurs Heat game, like I mentioned in my Instagram exclusive series, the third installment of it, eight for the week, and you know, based off David A. Arnold, the Fiesta outfit debuts as my shorts and what my Fiesta shorts to go with the Fiesta Tim Duncan jersey will be here tomorrow, courtesy of my dad for my birthday gift. So you're not gonna want to miss it. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. At eight for the week, goddamn, be you. You have to try harder to do less. So take care, everyone. Good night, and it's good to be back in the millionaire saddle with DJ Nash's A Million Little Things. See you later, everyone. Love each other. That's my boy.